what does it cost to save a DC-3? Oh, folks, it was a long go. So if you're just joining us, you've never seen me on YouTube before and you're figuring out what the heck's going on. Uh, just a quick recap. Uh, in December of 2018, uh, I purchased a Douglas DC-3 just like this one. It didn't look like this one. Uh, on eBay, uh, or I found it off eBay and we made a deal outside of eBay. A little bit confusing, but we got an airplane and uh, it was pretty, pretty uh, rough. And uh, I thought to myself, hey, let's see if we can get this thing flying for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. This airplane happens to be uh, a D-Day veteran, uh, which is hugely important and very rare in the DC-3 world to actually have a real D-Day airplane. So that being said, uh, what does it take? How much money uh, does it take to take an airplane from the scrapyard to be an airborne? And that's what we're going through today. Uh, all that hard work and effort, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the numbers. Um, and today is kind of like the spiritual last episode of season one of Plane Savers. This is the last thing I've been waiting to show you guys. Uh, so this is it. So remember this paper? I even ripped it just a little bit, just there. Look, there, Plane Savers. This is the original, original piece of paper that I've been using since day one. It's been with me. The name I came up with, uh, I believe, which would be great, is actually right here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Plane Savers. Uh, you can see it's got a donut stain there uh, from Tim Hortons, and uh, we'll be hearing a little bit more about Tim Hortons uh, soon. So that's it. That's a wrap on the Plane Savers paperwork, I just, or the Plane Savers page. Uh, all the logos and everything are from this original um, time I just drew that. Folks, just a little bit of accounting housekeeping before I go inside and show you the numbers. Uh, I'm going to be using the numbers uh, up until the airplane takes off. So I'm going to be using numbers of what it actually costs to get the airplane flying uh, with uh, all the expenses, uh, the sea can, which was big, but I'll be going and explain all that. But once the airplane takes off uh, on June 6th, uh, that's where I'm going to stop the clock. There is been expenses after that, uh, but those expenses didn't go into getting the airplane flying uh, because the aircraft right now is in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, so there was fuel, uh, pilot charges, and all that stuff after June 6th. Uh, but for our for our numbers that we're working with today, uh, I'm going to be working with how how much it took to get the airplane flying. So let's uh, head inside and uh, go through the numbers. Okay, so we're back in the boardroom exactly where it all started oh so long ago, back in 2018. And uh, there she is, look. Plane savers. So the numbers, oh, there's the numbers. Uh, i like to thank my mom, uh, Sharon, and my nephew, Kenny, who've been just going crazy with the accounting, getting this all ready for me. So thank you guys. Uh, we spent a lot of money. But we also... Uh, raise a lot of money by help uh, from people like yourself that are watching the show right now. Uh, I, you know, I have to say thank you right off the bat for everybody there. So uh, I'm going to go through the numbers. Uh, numbers can be boring, uh, so I'll probably throw up some graphics here to to show it up and maybe throw some pictures in. Who knows? Uh, so Aviol, Aviol is a company uh, is one of the best companies in the world for getting aviation parts. Uh, we got a lot of the parts, all the little stuff, nuts, bolts. Uh, rib nuts, nut plates, uh, switches, all that fun stuff, uh, cables, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, they came out to eight thousand two hundred and thirty-three dollars and sixteen cents. Uh, so thank you, Aviol. Uh, Pascal at Aviol uh, did amazing. Uh, now the big one everyone always talking about food. So our total food expenditure was thirteen thousand seventy-seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. That's a lot of food. Uh, now the big question is the Tim Hortons budget. Uh, I was saying about $4,500 I was thinking I was going to be spending on Tim Hortons. The final number came out to be $3,853.43. Let me know in the comments if you thought that you were close on the Tim Hortons number. And then if you just joined us, if this is the only Plain Savers episode you've seen, uh, we spent a lot of money on Tim Hortons. Coffee, donuts, sandwiches, all that stuff for the crew. Uh, but the biggest, the biggest ex expenditure in food, pizza. So this includes all the other stuff with pizza, so all the drinks and everything. So any of the pizza restaurants that we ordered from, $5,534.37 for pizza, folks. 
all other food, this is the water, snacks, anytime we ordered uh, like Thai food or anything like that, uh, St. Hubert chicken uh, or Benny's chicken, any of the other places, uh, that total was only $3,390.58. So there you go, that's what we spent on food. Uh, very important to keep people fed, uh, especially when they're volunteering. Uh, going to go through some here quick. Uh, the forklift, uh, we rented a forklift. Uh, it's, it's expensive, so it's fuel, it's rental, uh, and parts and pieces, anything we needed to buy, straps or anything for the forklift. $5,947.47. In retrospect, we probably could have bought a forklift for that. Uh, the sea can, so this is the shipping container uh, where all the parts came in from Red Deer. Uh, it was expensive, folks. Um, so this would, uh, so shipping the sea can from Red Deer to Montreal, uh, renting cranes to take it off, take it on, all that fun stuff. Um, Seventeen thousand four hundred forty dollars and forty-two cents. So that's everything that goes into going to getting a sea can uh, or our parts shipping containers. All other rentals, so porta potties, uh, dumpsters, uh, everything else that we rented uh, came out to $2,715.18. Now, all other aircraft supplies that didn't come from Avial, so these are the, the one off parts and pieces that we got from other companies, um, you know, fuel, oil, hydraulic fluid, all that fun stuff $11,890.50. 59 cents uh, so that covers all the stuff we needed to buy for the airplane uh, the Buffalo staff so this covers um, uh, my expenses Stell's expenses Jay um, Jay's expenses Trent's expenses and Ronnie's expenses so flights uh, there were some wages in there uh, a whole bunch of stuff that came up to twenty three thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars and forty five cents so that I'm calling Buffalo staff so that's all the Buffalo employees and how much it cost uh, for all that stuff. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the biggest number. Uh, of course, people are always the biggest number. Uh, the paperwork. So this is insurance, all the all the um, Transport Canada paperwork, all the filing and all that fun stuff. Uh, I'd like to say that this was way less than I thought it was going to be. Uh, $2,822.81. So thank you to everything like that. Uh, some stuff that is missing uh, that we didn't really we did there was no expense for. I want to thank Valley Field Valley Field Mitsubishi for giving us the Plane Savers Mobile. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, the UPS store, another Daniel at the UPS store uh, waived all the UPS charges, which was big. Uh, huge, huge thanks to Liz and Tim uh, who housed um, Stella and I and fed us, which brought that food bill down quite a bit. A huge thank to to Martin at the tower for housing Jay and uh, Trent, which saved a whole whole whack load of hotels. All these numbers could have been so so much higher. Huge thank you going out to Jean Francois, our buddy uh, that I worked in France with. He uh, an ex Buffalo guy. He came in zero. He paid for everything. Thank you, Jean Francois. You brought that cost down so much. Um, yeah, and of course ENA. Oh man, ENA has been amazing. Uh, yeah, I can't go on the school, really, you know, the space, everything. I'm kind of, I could spend an hour talking about everything. So ENA, huge, huge reason why this bill is so low. All our expenses, all our expenses out of pocket from uh, getting the airplane flying, 85,256 and 46 cents. So I was thinking around 75,000 was my original estimate for uh, the whole project. So we're about 10,000 over, um, but uh, yeah, it is very good. So this would have been a lot more. I would say if if everything, everything like the volunteers, again, the volunteers, I'll be thanking the volunteers towards the end, but uh, the volunteers, uh, ENA, anything this, this could easily be 250,000, easily $250,000. Uh, we did it for 85000 So, again, thank you so much. Now, let's head off to uh, what came in. So, those were uh, debits. Look at Let's look at the credits. So, this is you guys. This is everybody that's donated, watched, uh, bought merchandise, uh, it's handed me physical money uh, and everything. The only thing I'm not including on here is TIM cards uh, and gift certificate cards because that's kind of like a flow-through cost. 
Um, so that you guys brought the money, that sorry, the food budget way down. So I'm not including those right now. But uh, thank you so much uh, for all the Tim cards, the Tim Horns budget way being a lot more. So uh, PayPal donations. Uh, so these are the donations that came in just out of the kindness of everyone's heart. Uh, what do you think? Let me know. What do you think? Answer $21,990.48. That is money that people have sent us. And there's been some really, 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 really kind people. This sent a lot of money. And uh, I want to thank everybody. Um, eBay. So eBay, after all the fees and everything like that, eBay, all the eBay purchases. Cliff, Hope, thank you, man. You're the rock star. Uh, five thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars we raised off eBay again that number could have been a lot higher if I would have put more stuff on eBay um, but the stuff I want the stuff I put on eBay I wanted to be special the Normandy hats so the hats that uh, went to Normandy the plane saver hats they should be in the mail you should you guys should be getting them right away hopefully let me know in the comments if you ordered a Normandy hat those went for like a thousand dollars each amazing YouTube revenue so here it is what do you think Plane Savers made on YouTube revenue. I, I don't know if you're going to guess high or you're going to guess low. Uh, but here it is. $25,065.72. That's what we made off of YouTube. Isn't that uh, that's crazy? So that's these, every millisecond you'll be watching these films uh, or these videos uh, goes into that. All the ads, every time you guys watch an ad, that was it. So that is, that is the biggest number on this sheet is the YouTube number. 25,000 so thank you uh, this wouldn't have been possible without your guys's and girls support so thank you Teespring so Teespring is the plane savers uh, merchandise that comes from its own website which is drop shipped. the Teespring people have always been amazing uh, it really really uh, helps us out being able to uh, be able to, to offer merchandise that doesn't you know take a lot of our time so Teespring $12,000 nine dollars and 98 cents uh and that's revenue that's revenue um so that's that's in in the bank money that is not you know items sold that is in the bank money airware so airware uh i would say the second uh the third biggest number on here so these are the the official buffalo airways airware buffalo airware buffaloairware.com all the plane savers t-shirts the original run of white t-shirts all that stuff uh, can you guess how much we uh, sold um, on uh, Airware? So this is $19,805. That is how much uh, stuff the Airware stuff sold. And that is in the bank profit. Um, so thank you. That is went right to the airplane. Cash. So this is literally people handing me cash, mailing cash, which I suggest you shouldn't. But a lot of people were mailing old Canadian money that they had which was really cool. Um, so cash donations uh, at $3,465. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, there's some checks I couldn't cash uh, because they're made out to plane savers and there's actually nothing in the business that's called plane savers. So uh, I kept those as kind of souvenirs. They're, they're nothing big. There, there was, you know, I think a one $15 one and one $25 one. So I got those hanging in my office. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, so here it is folks all those numbers put together all those numbers. Okay, let's refresh uh, the debits eighty five thousand two hundred and fifty six dollars and forty six cents the credits eighty eight thousand three hundred and six dollars and eighteen cents which means we have had we're in the black three thousand forty nine dollars and seventy two cents. So thank you folks um we brought in more money than it took to get the airplane flying uh so thank you so much that is over the top cool uh by no means does this mean we actually made money with the airplane because for example the fuel bill just to get it to thunder bay uh and to have ex the you know our fuel bill was five thousand dollars so we're already ate up that three thousand extra uh just getting it to thunder bay just with the fuel so uh, here's the, the, the lesson to take away. Airplanes are expensive. Um, we couldn't have really did this without the help of the volunteers, the people, the school, uh, all the all the amazing stuff, all the companies that stepped up, everything, Valley Field, Mitsubishi, UPS, Avial, uh, really, Avial didn't give us any money or any discounts, but they really provided 
an insane and good service. Um, the school, the Cole National Air Technic, uh, I probably say that wrong, but uh, ENA, amazing, amazing. Jean Poffin, thank you. Um, you guys, amazing. And then the students, the teachers, uh, it's been just so cool. So there you go, folks. Um, that's kind of a, a lesson, a lesson in money. Uh, that uh, yeah, that's what it took. That's what it took to get that airplane flying. But it doesn't take into account what it costs to operate the airplane, which uh, gets them very very expensive. Uh, so what's next? We're going to Oshkosh. We're going to be in Oshkosh, landing there Tuesday, uh, which is I think the 23rd, and then we're going to stay till uh, Saturday. So Tuesday to Saturday, we'll be at Oshkosh. D, uh, DTD will be with us, of course. And uh, this is my thank you to everybody. Uh, you know, the only place in the world that you can go one time and see as many Plane Saver fans as possible is Oshkosh. I wish I could take it all around the world, folks, but this would be a laughable, these would be laughable numbers if I started flying that airplane around the world. $100,000 to get to Europe. Uh, that's the whole budget of the airplane. So, yeah, so that's what it is. Um, that's it. That's a wrap on Plane Savers, folks. That was the last... Of season one uh, the reason why I'm calling it season one uh, what do you think um, but right now I just want to use this time to thank all the volunteers the physical people uh, that came to the airplane um, these are the the heroes so heroes watching at home uh, but the people that spent their time effort and and things going uh, you know just so so thankful there's a there's I made a, a quick video with the photos I had on my phone. I know this isn't everybody, so I'm sorry if uh, you helped on the plane and I didn't uh, get you in the video. I just made this video very quickly, uh, but here is uh, a quick thank you for everybody uh, that helped out. And again, if you're not in the video and you helped out, uh, you're there in spirit. So thank you very much.
folks, we, we made it. Um, this is it. This is the end of the video. Thank you for making it this far. Um, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? I guess uh, there's stuff in motion. If you guys being follow along on the Facebook group. I know a lot of YouTubers are not uh, too happy with Facebook, but uh, the Facebook group is kind of a really cool resource that has grown organically for the Planesaver fans. Uh, check it out. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm not going to say the S2 word yet, uh, but very soon if you made this far in the video, again, you guys are the hardcores. You'll be seeing a very special video of me very soon. Um, but more more likely, I'll be shooting some footage in Oshkosh, and I'll be um, playing Savers Away or something. I'll name it something stupid. But uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, all the positive support for Plain Savers Season 1. Uh, everybody's been just so amazing. Um, thank you. I can say it a million times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We all did it. We did it together, and we saved an airplane, and that was our goal. So we'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye.